Story time. How's it going, everyone? This is Black Knight Sys57. For today's story time, I want to talk about my experiences at my local anime conventions. Now, within the last few years, I actually did move out of state, so the ones that I will be talking about will be the ones that I used to go to. Well, I mean, I actually still go to because I do um, work over there yearly still, kind of. But anyways, but the ones that I will be talking about will be the ones that I used to attend to around the uh, Chicago area back in Illinois. Now, if you're familiar with the ones in Chicago, they'll be the ones called ASIN, aka Anime Centro, and the other one's called Anime Midwest, and the other one called Con Alt Delete. So basically, all those conventions are in the same area in O'Hare that's located in Illinois. And they're usually held in the Hyatt Regency O'Hare Center, which is a hotel and also a convention center which is also connected to the actual convention center, which is where they have like the shops or um, not panels. Well, actually, sometimes they have panels there, I guess. But basically, like the shop area. So where they sell like the, you know, the art, the collections, you know, like all that stuff. And also sometimes where you get your um, tickets and everything. I say sometimes because over time, <laughs> it has gone bigger and a lot more fun. Except for probably maybe the past few years, which I will explain to that. Anyways, so yeah, I will say that my very first experience at a anime convention was all the way back in 2011. So pretty much right out of, um, I want to say out of high school, my uh, first year of college. Back in high school, I actually always wanted to go to a convention. Whether it was like, you know, Comic Con or some anime or just anything I liked it, honestly, you know? So... Within this year, I did look up and saw like any local ones that were around my area. And I figured I'd go to the one that I was most involved with, or obviously the one where I was mostly gravitated to, which at that time and still kind of is now, is anime. Yeah, of course, I was into like, you know, like the um, superheroes and Marvel and DC and all that stuff. But like I said, though, like, Around that time, I didn't really have much money on me, so I couldn't just go, you know, across the country and go to, like, the San Diego, San Diego you know, that stuff. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, so, um, 2011 was my uh, very first one. Now, I can't exactly recall what the exact name of it. All I know is that it was within the same area, so I think it was in O'Hare. Now, it wasn't um, Anime Midwest, because as far as my knowledge, so correct me if, if I'm wrong, Anime Midwest didn't really appear or it wasn't really known until I want to say 2012, if not 2013, something like that. But anyway, so like back in 2011 was my uh, very first one. And it was at a, you know, hotel and kind of like convention center. Not at the Hyatt, but it was somewhere else. I totally forgot though, because like I said, it was a while ago. But anyways, so yeah, so once my first one and I actually was, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I actually was nervous to the point to where I actually invited my uh, mom to join me. And she actually did, uh, came with me. So it was just me and her, and we stayed for, I think it was only just like one night we were there, so like a Friday through a uh, Saturday. So I went there and I was excited, and if I recall right, I had my, let's see. I knew I was partially cosplaying. Now, I wasn't really like, you know, into a full outfit, but if anything, I just threw on some, I, <laughs> if I recall right, I think it was like Naruto stuff. So I had like the head, the headband, not on me, but I put it on my um, arm, kind of like where the bicep area is. I had that, and then I had like the uh, gloves, uh, fingerless gloves. That also had like the uh, leaf uh, headband signature on them. And I think I even wore like the Akoski uh, t-shirt, if I recall right, and basically just just like uh, black shorts, kind of like you know matching the outfit, like you know, you know like the black and the red and everything. Anyway, so I did that, and I remember back then, um, they did have uh, some gaming tournaments. Like, I think the only one I entered was the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 one. And I didn't really obviously get to the top or even the semifinals. I think it was like in the middle uh, rack area, if I recall right. And I even did some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! over there as well. Now, I would consider myself as uh, retired <laughs> from that game, but I think that's another story, too. I might just uh, bring about about my, uh, uh, not career path of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but my experiences from when it first started to, like, right now. But, yeah, I'll save that for another video, then. 
anyway, so yeah, so they had that, they had that. Um, they also had a pool over there. I, I, I do remember that because I remember uh, going to the pool to like chill out and also going to hot tub too. So it was pretty nice. But yeah, but as far as first experience, I didn't exactly know what to expect. I really didn't. Uh, if anything, like yeah, I expected maybe like you know they had some games over there. They had panels, obviously. You know, obviously all the anime stuff to like, collect and shop around, which they did. And yeah, it was pretty cool. And I remember getting um, uh, scroll posters too, and then something else. Oh my gosh, I, I remember my my um, it wasn't like a scroll poster. I forgot what it was, but it, it, it's kind of like those fabric posters where they have like you know you know like the holes in the corner where you like tie it up, you know, and then post it on your wall. It was like that, and I remember it was uh, Code Geass, and it had like basically like like the main female uh, roster characters on there in their like uh, bikini outfits, and that was like my very first official like anime like poster fabric, like kind of like that. <laughs> and I remember I put it on the um, top of my uh, headboard in my bedroom too, and I had it there for years, but then I eventually uh, sold it, got rid of it when I was going through like some kind of like. I don't want to say face, but I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so I got that. Ooh, and also, I did um, try to meet up and do like autograph and sign ups for like the uh, voice actors. And the only one who I, who I uh, saw and met, and he did like, you know, kind of like a performance too, was uh, I'm going to butcher his last name. I know what it is though, but it's uh, Vic McConaughey, Vic McNana. Something like that, I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot say his, late, his last name for, for the life of me. But anyways, he's basically the voice actor who who plays um, uh, Eric in uh, Full Metal Alchemist. And is that his name, Eric? Man, I am out of touch with anime stuff. So my life has been busy, okay? I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so met him up. He was a cool dude. He was nice and everything. And he was um, doing his, like, you know, uh, performances that he did with, like, anime and, like, any, any of his uh, careers. Like... Like, like his character in uh, Orin High School. Not sure if you guys uh, ever seen that or recalled that anime or read, read the uh, manga of it though, but he was really good in that, that one. It was really funny. He even did like a scene with um, one of the one of the fans too and <laughs> everyone was, was all laughing and giggling and applauding and everything. But anyways, uh, yeah though, so for my first experience, it was really good. I'm glad I met him and you know, got to you know experience it. Now, when I, Afterwards, I was like, you know what? That was really cool. So I would like to go again. So that was pretty much the start of my annual convention going, and I did it for another like I want to say um, I want to say ten years. I say it, yeah, you know, it's like ten or eleven years. But granted, I did miss maybe like two or three due to well, you know, the whole um, virus thing, you know, and then just just life getting busy. I, I don't. But yeah, so that was my first one. Now, my best experiences were probably as soon as 2012 was around, and then that's when I started to go every single year. Excuse me. And by that, I mean, I pretty much went like, I wanna say every summer, and somewhat in the spring, and somewhat in uh, winter. So here's, so basically here's what happened. So basically every summer over there, there was the, the convention called Anime Midwest. And then in the springtime, so like May, like kind of kind of in the middle of May, there was another one called Anime Central, aka ASIN. And then in winter, it was in uh, December, so like close to like Christmas time, called Con Alt Delete. Now, as far as I know, um, Anime Midwest and Con Alt Delete, they were basically like the same thing. Basically, kind of like kind of like in the same like kind of like, not I don't want to say company, but kind of like in the same group of people who. Um, you know, holds that stuff and does it and everything. However, Con Delete was basically like the smaller version of Anime Midwest. And they basically did that because, you know, people, you know, were busy around the holidays or, or whatever. So basically, it, it was like half the version of, of Anime Midwest. However, it was still fun and everything as, as far as I'm, I, I can recall. Now, as for ASIN, that was like the biggest one. So, like, that was the one where, like, um, most people, I guess, would uh, go to, because every time I went there, it there it, it was packed. I mean, like, it was mainly packed for for the most part for, for all of them. But Aizen was like huge, like you know, it was like the biggest one and the most expensive too. <laughs> but I'll go to that one um a, a little later uh, in, in this uh, video. But yeah, so uh, 2012 though, 
that's when I first started going to anime Midwest and they pretty much had the same thing as the first, as my first experience with the other one. So, you know, they had like the panels, they had the uh, shopping center, you know, uh, they, they did show anime over there. They had uh, games over there too. Funny enough, um, this actually was my very first experience to actually enter more into the gaming tournaments that they had. So like uh, Smash Brothers, and they had Skullgirls, and, and, and Skullgirls was was new. Because if I recall, I think that was the same year Skullgirls came out, so no one really knew about it. I, I didn't even know about it, but I played it, and I was like, oh, so this, this, is, like, this is pretty fun. It's basically like the Marvel vs. Capcom thing, but with, you know, like the um, characters and all stuff. But anyways, so they had that, and they had other things too, and I had a blast. I really did. I especially loved the hotel over there. That's when I, I first started staying at the Hyatt Bra Regency O'Hare Hotel. So I highly recommend it, honestly. Like, if you go to like Chicago and they want to stay in O'Hare, that hotel is really nice. It's huge too. Um, you can like go on Google and just, and just type it in, and you'll see all of the images. And if you type it in and say like put the convention by it, you'll see all the images there too as well. But yeah, like um, the the hotel experience was uh, uh, really good, and pretty much you can like. Obviously, you know, like walk around during daytime and then at night you'll see people like still like hanging out in the lobby area or like you see them like in like the uh, lounge area and they, they even had like a bar area too. And they also had like other areas too, but I don't know, it's, it's huge. Like, like I said, just look at the images or just, you know, just go, just, just, just even go on YouTube, you know, type in Hyatt uh, Ratio here and you, you, you'll see what I mean. But anyways. So, yeah, like, it was really nice over there, the rooms were really nice, and everybody over there was cool, honestly. Like, to me, these conventions, they really mean, like, like a lot to me, honestly. Like, and I'm so grateful and glad that I was able to go to them throughout all the years that I've been to. Like, they, like, like I don't know, they, they brought me so much joy. Like, it basically was to the point to where these conventions felt like a whole nother world. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Like, yeah, you have, you know, the real world and, you know, job and all that other stuff, you know, all your worries, stress, and so forth. I mean, hey, that's life, right? <laughs> but anyways, but, but these conventions, it's like as if everything just goes out the door, you know? And, well, as long as everything goes well, that is. I will say that, though, which I will talk about, too, about, you know, prepping up. But like, yeah, like, I don't know. I basically just, just, just like, fell in love. So I love the um, atmosphere. Everybody who I said hi to and met, they're, they're all cool, nice people. Everybody pretty much like got along for the most part, at least from my experience from what I've seen. And yeah, they had, they had the panels where people can just, you know, come um, around, talk to, have discussions, uh, take pictures, lots of pictures, seriously. Like everyone was cosplaying over there. They're really cool outfits and Outfits that were pretty revealing. I will say that, but that's part of the cosplay lifestyle. I don't know. <laughs> Not gonna lie, as I got older, I soon realized, you know what? No, that this is pretty much an excuse to just be like that. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, um, it's just it's just so much fun. Like it, it brings such nostalgia to me. It really does. And like, yeah, like it, it was pretty awesome. Now, for the, when it comes to like the um the pricing though. Like the pricing actually wasn't that bad. Um, let's see. Back then, I remember one day tickets were like I think it was like thirty five dollars, but if you get the weekend one, it was like fifty, if I believe right. If not like forty five. However, I will say that over the years the pricing did you know kind of go up. Not too much though, but they started to slowly get up there to where instead of like thirty five, then all of a sudden became forty, and then it became like forty five if I last checked. And then, like, you know, went from 50 and then jumped to $60. And I was like, eh, okay, whatever, you know. I mean, it, it, it wasn't like a deal breaker to me, but still, it's like, come on. <laughs> Anyways. But, um, yeah, and then, of course, you know, if you can stay at the at the um, Hyatt uh, Racy Hotel, which is where it was, too, which that's actually the best part of it, is that, like, you can just go down the ele elevator and it's right there, you know. Everything that you want to experience or see is, like, just down, just, like, down there, just a few floors down or many floors down, depending on, you know, where your room is and everything. If not, you could go to your uh, local hotels around there. So if I recall right, they had like the Western Hotel, then they had like the Holiday Inn and uh, Doubletree. 
and something else too. I don't know, but they had hotels around to where it was pretty much like a uh, walking distance. So it wasn't all, all that bad or anything and so forth. But anyways, but yeah, and I want to say like Midwest was really good. So here, if you want to go to like your first like uh, convention to where it's not like huge, you know, basically not too much going on all at once. But it's also not small. Then I highly recommend going to Anime Midwest if you're in the local area of Chicago or just around you know state of Illinois. Or if, or hey, if you want to just you know go across the country and just get a good experience, I will say that. Now I can't say the same thing kind of as of right now because and I'll get I'll get into that later about the changes um, that, that that's happened over the years. But yeah, but uh, so Midwest is one that I usually went to. And then um, the other one that, that I started going to would be uh, Con Delete, which again um, is like the small version of Midwest, and I'm pretty sure that's run through the same like group or company or whatever, which was hold in uh, December, so like kind of kind of like right before Christmas or like the week before then. So I pretty much have the same stuff with, with just like you know a few uh, Christmas themes in it, you know. <laughs> Anyways, so there's that, and then um, excuse me, <laughs> and then I. Uh, a few years later, that's when I started to go, go to uh, Anime Central or ASIN, which is the uh, the uh, biggest one over there, and that's um, held in May. So pretty much, I started going to Anime Midwest, Calling Out Delete, and Anime Central, all within the same year. <laughs> so I went to three conventions, pretty much at the start of I want to say maybe it was like 2014. If not 2015, that's when I started to go to all three of them. So, like, basically from 2011 to uh, 2013, that's when I only started to go to, like, uh, Midwest. And then from uh, 14 to 16, that's when I started to go to Call to Lee. And then from, like, uh, 15 or 16, then I started going to all three of them. So, uh, yeah, and, of course, I was only able to do this because I had, you know, a bunch of free time or, like, around the time, too, I actually, I, I did have my, uh, you know, my, my uh, exes before, but it's not like, you know, we had, any, you know, like, we're, like, you know, living life exactly, you know, <laughs> you know, still young, still able to, you know, like, you know, do all the stuff and still have free time and everything. But anyways, but, yeah, but they were a lot of fun, and I, I, I truly missed them. Like, here's, here's, um, one thing about... Not one thing, but probably the best experiences I had over there personally for me was all like the uh, gaming stuff. By that, I mean they had tournaments over there. So like throughout the years, all they had was like, you know, like the console gamings and like a few arcade games, you know, and everything. But then as time went on, they really started to <clears throat> um, get into more of that to where they started hosting more tournaments. They started bringing in more arcade games from Japan. You know, like the uh, Japanese games, you know, like, like, you know, barely any, any English on them or, or whatever. And the gaming room started to get bigger and bigger. And then even to where the, to the, the tournaments, instead of just saying, oh, so-and-so won it. No, they actually started putting prizes now. So now it's like, oh, if you win, you get, you get like a gift card. Or, oh, if you win, you'll, you know, get something out of it, like a trophy or, or whatever. And <laughs> not gonna lie, it even got to the point to where... Even like with like the guests or like people just made up their own tournaments and then start putting money on it. I kid you not. <laughs> I remember, I remember um, it was like kind of like late late at night and I was playing uh, Smash Brothers uh, and like um, it was like me and like I think it was like twenty other guys out you know, like around there and and we all just came up to the you know solution like hey let's let's, let's do our own tournament and hey let's put money on it. So <laughs> that's what we did. And like I put, in, I think if I call right, I think I put in like five bucks. That was it, you know. I was like, yeah, just five bucks. But dude, you had these people put in like, like twenties. I think someone put a fifty in. I was like, what the crap? And if I recall right, I think the total amount came to like, I think it was like almost two hundred dollars. I, I I'm pretty sure it was. If not, it was like close to two hundred dollars. That that was a grand prize. So and it was like twenty of us. And I and I think I hit like. Four for third place because I was like in the semifinals <laughs> that time, so I was close. <laughs> well, yeah, someone walked out with two hundred dollars. I was like, dang, really? <laughs> but anyways, but now they are fun, and um, even with the gaming tournaments too. Ooh, I remember like probably like one of the best experiences that I had was um in Asen actually, because Asen man, they were having their gaming rooms like huge, like. 
like um in the in the uh, convention center, not in the hotel, but like uh, across from it. There's like you know the whole building and so forth. They had their own like room. It was kind of like a ballroom, and it was huge to where they had tons of consoles and tons of arcades, and um, and they even had I kid you not, they even had like a a uh, what, what, what you call them, kind of like those concert stages for like you know bands, right? Like the ones that you could put up, not like built in, but like ones that you could just put up and everything, you know. And they had that, and they had Rock Band on it. <laughs> so like you have people literally. You know, like what well, playing rock band, and like you know, you had like the, the big screen, uh, you know, of the game right behind them, and you even had cameras kind of too to kind of like look at at the um the singer or whoever kind of playing. So if they basically made it to where like it felt like an actual concert experience, but like you know with, with like rock band, it was pretty cool. And I remember it was a uh, me. And my sisters and their friend uh, went went on and started playing, and we played the song uh, "Bring Me to Life" by Evanescence, and I was the uh, guitar player, and I was, <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm here, I'm on stage, Eric's looking, I might as well just go out. So I was like playing as them, I was like really playing, <laughs> and having fun with it. It was it was cool, it was awesome. I'm not gonna lie, even and then like once the song ended, and everything was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much fun. And then just like like I said too, the tournaments too over there, and I tried to do like Smash Brothers, uh, Street Fighter, and um, Marvel's Capcom if it was available, and just pretty much anything else that that I played. Because for me, I'm into uh, fighting games like like a lot, and pretty sure if you've seen my you know channel, you'll see like clips of me uh, playing them and so forth. But yeah, but man, it's it's just so much fun. It really was. <laughs> I like think about like <sighs> I remember back in the day. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of sounds old for saying that, but um, yeah, like the 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 feelings of it were awesome, and it honestly felt like a true vacation too. Because yeah, it'll be over the weekend. Um, some people stay there for you know either like one day, or some people will stay there for like one night, so they have like you know, you know two days over there, or stay for the whole weekend, so for two nights. I've always tried to do do it for two nights. Um, I think there's only like maybe like one or two times to where I stayed for like one night, but that's because of money or like, you know, I had to do something, you know, on the uh, third day. But otherwise it was always like two nights for me and probably like one of like the relaxing experiences was towards the night when everybody is, you know, is trying to settle down and like either, you know, getting ready for a uh, bed or people just chilling, you know, like. I would walk around the hotel, just you know, you know, mind my own business, you know, maybe have like headphones, headphones on, and everything, and just walk around, you know, look at everything, look out how big the hotel is, kind of see everybody, you know, just mingling or just chilling, and <laughs> yeah, sometimes you you'll see people making out <laughs> too, not getting frisky, okay, no, 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 <laughs> not like you know doing it, but like it's people just you know kissing, holding hands, or and so forth. It's kind of like a romantic kind of like you, you know scene or a vibe and everything. And yes, I've done the same thing too with my ex before. <laughs> but anyways, um, but yeah, it was just like just chilling over there. Ooh, you know what? But one other thing I loved about these conventions, besides you know you know the atmosphere, besides the gaming tournaments and everything, were the rave dances. Now those were cool. <laughs> now long story short, I actually used to hate dancing because I because I had no rhythm and I was like, ugh, I hated this, this, and that. So I was stiff as a board and hitting right. But then um, uh, years later, I started going to like these uh, workout uh, dances, you could say. So he was like, like kind of like a like aerobics or like the Zumba stuff like that, you know. So it was like that and like hip hop. And then that's when I found my rhythm. And then that's when I started to love dancing. Now that's, that's probably the, another story too. I don't know. But anyways, so in the rave dances, you know, it's a rave. So obviously, you know, like the lights are off. They have like all these uh, um, neon colors, you know, going on or like you know strobe lights, blah blah blah. You know, live music, all that stuff, right? So those were a lot of fun, and people were just, you know, you're jumping around, dancing, you know, dancing on each other, you know. Pretty much, it's, it's, it's like a club, okay? <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. It was like a club, and everyone was just having a good time, and yeah, granted, there are people who are probably on some stuff, I will probably say that, or just, you know, under the influence and everything, but anyways, <laughs> but it was just having a good time, and those are one of the things that I will always look forward to, honestly. So it was always the gaming tournaments I always look forward to. It was the rave dances I look forward to, and then just having the experience at the conventions over there. Honestly, I've actually um uh probably like within the middle of the years that I went to it though, my family did came with me. So it was like me, my cousins, and sometimes my my sisters too. 
Now, me and my cousins, uh, we were all into like the anime and gaming and like you know, like like um, like the entertainment stuff. You know, my sisters not so much. However, when anytime they came along with their friends too, you know, like like their girlfriend, girlfriends, whatever, they had a great time. Like like what they always tell me. They're like, you know, they're not into like the anime stuff. They're not really into all the stuff like though. But they always felt like they were in a whole nother world and they just loved it because of all the, the weirdness <laughs> and like people doing stuff and just mingling, just getting along to positivity and all that stuff. And yeah, they even enjoyed, you know, like like they are raised too and everything, you know. So I would actually recommend to actually invite people too who aren't into that stuff just to get that first experience, you know, just to experience it and be like, like, like oh, this is weird, but hey, it's pretty cool though at the same time, you know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I even um, I even remember within the last few years that I was going to these conventions, um, I actually did met one of my uh, best friends, not the one that I mentioned before about the story thing, but no, there was someone else too that, that I met there and I met her in a, a rave dance actually, funny enough. And, and, and I mean, her got, got along or like we got clicked in the rave dance and then, then afterwards me and her started talking a bit to where we actually exchanged um, numbers and everything and then we, we, we became friends after that and so forth. But anyways, but um, yeah, just good times over there really is. Now comes in the part to where um, I want to say things changed. And by that, I'm pretty sure you might have an idea of what I'm about to talk about. It is when 2020 happened. <laughs> and wow, did everything change? Again, I shouldn't have to say what happened, you know, unless you're, you know, a, a little kid who's now just seeing this. Then talk to your parents, talk to your older people. Basically, what happened. But yeah, you know, the whole virus showed up, shutdowns, lockdowns, and all that other stuff. Now, in 2021, that's when, you know, um, things started to op open up again. But, of course, you know, mandated masks, mandated uh, uh, vaccinations, you know, all, all that stuff. Um, now, if you didn't have vaccines and so forth, I mean, re I mean, regardless, you had to show proof, you know, proof that you were, you, you know, clean, you know, nothing's going wrong, wrong, wrong with you. And you had like a mask of someone to, you know, cover your face and everything. So pretty much those were the rules set at these conventions. If not, they would say, you know, we're not doing it because of the so-and-so, or they'd be very strict on it, you know? So um, I did try to go to them, and, and I actually did, I think it twice, if I recall right. Was it twice? Wait, was it twice? No, 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 I went once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually went once. Um, I did went right before COVID happened. <laughs> okay, I will say that though. So, so I I did went right before, it, which I still had a good time. And then I went one more after that. So, right now we're in 2024. So yeah, I've only been to these conventions like once since uh, that happened. But anyways, but I will say from my experience and also from what I've seen, it's just not the same. It really isn't because. Like, you know, all the stuff that they had over there, it's like now down cut to half of it. It really is. Like, yeah, they still had everything that I pretty much said, you know, except um, they did cut down on the gaming stuff a lot. Now, granted, I pretty much, I think, I think I know why, you know, that they did that because, you know, when they had these like, you know, gaming tournaments and or, or, or basically just these gaming stuff, you know, there's a group of people just crowding around, you know, hovering each other and all that stuff, right? I mean, obviously. So I'm pretty sure they cut down on the tournaments. They cut down on the gaming just because of that, you know, for, you know, for safety reasons and all this stuff, which understandable, you know, and, and yeah, that's reasonable. My issue is that like now that we're in this time around, they're still not doing it, you know, because I did go last year, actually. Um, and like I said, like I'm like out of state. So we do visit, you know, back over there. So when we do, it's around that time where uh, anime uh, Midwest is happening. But anyway, so um, so I went there last year, and I went with my uh, wife's uh, other brother. Excuse me. So, so for him to get like you know the experience over there and whatever. And then I was telling them about the experience what I had. But but when we got there, like I said, it felt like half the stuff was still missing. And yeah, I'm saying still because like I said, like. Yeah, you know, like, you know, over time, you, you know, like that happened, and then now they're trying, you know, get it back up. And I've been kind of keeping up with like what's been happening with like these conventions and everything. And from from the pictures I've seen, the videos I've seen, 
like I said, it's just a, it's, it's just like not the same. So here's my thing right here is that when it comes to like the game gaming stuff, you know, I know that there was a certain soon wow a certain <laughs> sorry a certain uh group that that actually did hell that stuff. I forgot what, what they were called, but basically they they were like the staff members who um hosted the the, tor the tournaments <clears throat> and like were were like um in uh, charge of like all the gaming stuff. I remember I actually did not see them uh, last year over there, and every kind of pictures and videos that I've seen in the convention, they weren't there either. So my guess is that you know, obviously when uh, you know uh, COVID happened or whatever, they stopped doing that, and then I guess afterwards either they just cut ties with them or what maybe that group said hey uh we don't want to go over there anymore for their own reasons or maybe it was pay you know you know you know a, a, a financial problem so forth. i mean I, I don't know what it was but that's like one of the major changes that happened and for me i personally don't like it because because like the game and stuff like um honestly that was like half the reason why i went to these conventions you know is the whole gaming experience and just you know the experience with, with, like, with like other gamers or people you know there but like I said, they just stopped doing them, and then I was like, hmm, okay. But, like, it's like they still have the game stuff, but not as much. You know, I'm just, I, I don't know. But anyways, so there's that. And then, besides the gaming stuff, it just seems less of everything else. And, again, you know, what, what, what happened, I totally understand, you know. But, man, ever since then, it just, does, it just hasn't, like, felt the same at, at all, honestly. Now, I am talking about Anime Midwest, though, so I don't know how it is with Conal Delete or um, ASIN, you know, Anime Central. So I'm not sure how, how they're doing, you know. Maybe they're also not doing as good as they were before and everything, which understandable, like I said. But I do truly wonder um, if things are okay or not, or like they're just as good, or maybe a little less. You know what? I, I, mean, I mean, for me, I would take even a little less of it, you know. But nah, Midwest just changed for me personally. And I'm just speaking from, like I said, from like 10 years of going there, you know? Dang, 10 years. <laughs> like 10 or 11 years of pretty much like, you know, going there from when it started to how it grew. Because it really did become huge, you know? And that's when, you know, anime started to become more popular too, you know? And like everything else. So, so like, yeah, it was great. And then that happened. And now... Maybe, excuse me, maybe, maybe they're just, you know, working from the ground up, you know, and so forth, which I could see that happening. Like, you know, they're, they're just trying to uh, make their uh, money back or, you know, or get the, get, the, get the people back in and so forth, which understandable and everything. But for me personally, yeah, it just hasn't been the same. Now, I'm not saying, like, you know, I had a bad experience the last time I went there. No, no, I still had a, had a good experience. I did, you know, as usual. But again, it just, it just wasn't the same anymore. But, uh, I just hope that, um, what, like, next year, like, I do plan to go, uh, next year. Now, I did go, uh, this year, uh, because of, you know, reasons, uh, reasons and so forth. But, um, but for sure, we do plan on going next year. And by we, that means, uh, me and my wife and, and my son. And if, if not my son, he'll probably be with his, you know, uh, grandparents or whatever. And then just me and my wife going. But anyways, um... But yeah, so I plan to go on next year, and hopefully that you know things get better, or it feels like how how it was before. Now I'm not saying it has to be exactly how it was before, you know. It's just the experience, you know, because it has been less of it. I will say. Uh, but yeah, but I don't know. It just kind of takes me back, you know, to like the just like just like how how it was. But like, like I said too, and yeah, this could be maybe just you know nostalgia is just coming just coming to me or just talking, you know, out of my mouth right now. You know everything but it really is a fun experience now granted again this is all from my from my local anime you know your conventions or at least you know where it was at so it could be a lot different you know and somewhere else across the country or some other state or whatever actually now think about it where i am right now they actually do have a a uh, convention over here they have two of them they have one for anime and one for uh, comic-con kind of they're not like you know huge whatever but they are around here as well where where I, I'm, I'm currently at right now um i was planning on maybe going to them but i was like eh, i don't know we'll see what happens so i don't know maybe next year i i'll try for, for like a day and see, see how it is and, and they'll be like oh, okay now i can make this at my you know uh uh animal thing or something <laughs> but anyways um 
But yeah, but my thing is this: it's like if you're a fan of anime and gaming, you should really go go to the, those conventions because they are a lot of fun. Yeah, some might not be as great or as big and so forth though, but it's an experience over there. It really is. Now, for those who aren't into like you know anime gaming, I still think you would still you know enjoy it to to an extent, you know, because like I said, my my sisters weren't into it, but they had a, a but they had a lot of fun over there. They really did. Like they they would try things. They're like like huh, oh, this guy weird, this and that. But they still had a good time over there, you know. But um, let's see. Probably the last thing I'll mention are uh, maybe I call them tips and advice. I don't know. <laughs> but here's the thing. From my experience of, of going there for for you know like ten years and so forth, is this. First of all, you gotta be sure you, you got money. Okay. <laughs> Now here, if you're like maybe just visiting there, like here, let's say if you don't plan to stay at night, right? It all you basically need is just money to pay for the ticket and money for food, you know, depending on, on what you're doing. Oh, speaking of food too, these conventions might actually offer food over there. By offer, I mean free. Now, if they do, it's usually like the instant ramen noodles, you know, like like the ones you see like you know, uh, you know, Walmart or the stores, whatever. I mean, hey, it's free. And people, I remember they were serving that and they had so much of it because people were just on it, you know? No one wanted to pay like, you know, $20 for just a burger and fries <laughs> or something like that. It was free and it was unlimited too. So so you could literally take like, like what, five of them well, with you if you want. They even had free soda as well. Yeah, free soda. <laughs> so they were giving out like, you know, f- you know, free like Sprite, coconut and all that stuff too. That was a good time too, man. And they, and I remember uh, one year they only did it until to like 10 p.m. But they realized people had, had, had like the munchies. <laughs> so years later they then um, went from 10 p.m. I think until like 2 a.m. <laughs> for, for people to, to like get it. But anyways, um, so yeah, so um, just just be sure you have money for you know the ticket. Make sure you have money for food and for uh, money for you know anything else over there. So like money to you know buy any like stuff over there whether that's like a- anime collections uh movies entertainment you know dolls you know anything because here if i had to say something like what if and this is just if you're going to visit okay not stay there but just visit for one day i highly recommend you bring at least i want to say a hundred dollars like at least because you're probably gonna gonna use all, all you know all the now, as for staying there for even a night, yeah, you might you, you might want to double that. No, 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 not even no, maybe triple the amount <laughs> because you're staying for for, for for a night, you know, or or two nights depending, like you know, on what you're doing. So you gotta be sure you have, you have money for the ticket. You gotta make sure you have money for food for you know for two days or more, and you gotta uh, make sure you have money for the whole rooms that that they paying. Now the high rarity, um over there. If I recall right, the prices were actually decent um, for what it was, honestly. It was like, back then, it was like, um, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Back then, it was like 150 if not maybe like 160 I think recently I saw it, it jumped from maybe like 170 though, but I mean, that's, maybe that's not fair. Maybe it is, I don't know. It, it depends on where you go and everything, but it was like that that much per night. So, you know, there's that. Oh, and you, you also, you also got to pay for parking as well, too. So, realistically, uh, from my experience, you, you, you probably really should have at least maybe like $400 on you. You know, and that's paying for everything because I just said. And at, at least $400. And that's for all your needs. <laughs> okay? These are needs. Meaning, like, your staying, your, your food, the ticket, like, all that stuff. Now, if you want to buy stuff, then, hey save or spend as much as you want afterwards so, you know like people c- come in the, to, to these uh, conventions with like thousands of dollars on their hands you know and and i'm i'm being i'm being dead serious too because you'll be seeing them buying all this stuff like all these plushies all these like you know, you know stores and uh anime you know shows movies blah 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 like all that stuff you know and i remember i think the most i spent at the convention was let's see if i recall right i think it was like close to like 600 dollars no joke, seriously. And that was, you know, paying for all my needs. But I also got, like, you know, some uh, scroll posters. I, I remember getting, like, I think, like, two or three plushies. And, like, something else, too. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, 
if you're just gonna visit for one day, okay, so like you know, one day over there, not spend that or anything at a hotel, then I would say at least have a hundred dollars on you, you know, at the very least. But if you're gonna stay there for a night or two or whatever, you, you better have hundreds of dollars on you. Like, no joke. <laughs> but yeah, but I don't know, like, I guess for me, in my future plans for going to these conventions, here's the thing. What I truly want to do is to still go to them. Yeah, you know, I still will, lo will love to go to them, you know, once a year. Not like before, because obviously, you know, I got things to pay for. I, I got a family and all this stuff now. But, um, yeah, if I go there at least like once a year, I will still do it, honestly. And like I said, too, there's actually is one um, close to where I'm currently at right now. So I, I actually might go there uh, next year to see how, how it is. And hopefully it's good and it's good, then hey, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably um, uh, start going over there, you know? But anyways, but yeah, so if, if I could do it, like, you know, at least once a year, I would. However, that's obviously not a prior, priority of mine, you know, obviously. And uh, me not going, you know, the, the, the last, like, you know, f you know, few years, except for, you know, last year though, because that, that, was, that actually was, was a chance we had. But um, yeah, but I'd like to go, you know, and of course, you know, I would love to go, you know, with my you know, wife and, and my son and my, you know, uh, future kids when, when we have them and so forth but, and, and just have, have a good time. Now, granted, I actually could go by myself and stuff a good time, though. <laughs> I, I done it before, so I can, I, I can still do it now, you know. Um, <laughs> but um, if anything, though, you know what? Speaking of that, too, I will say if you're like a loner kind of whatever, You'll be fine. You really would, you know. Especially if that that this is based around stuff that you enjoy and like. You'll be okay, honestly. However, I will say that it does make a better experience somewhat when you have friends with you or family with you. It really does, because yeah, I had a great time, but you know, by, by, by myself, you know, doing all that stuff. But I will say probably like most of the best times that I had over there was with my uh, family when they uh, joined me. You know, like, like going to these things and just ha having a lot of fun and everything. But yeah, but I really do miss all, all, all those times. I know I've already mentioned me before how things changed, you know, due to the, you know the whole COVID situation here and so forth, which is understandable and reasonable. Obviously, you know, I mean, to be honest, I don't expect everything to be back to where it was right away or right after what happened. You know, I understand that you know um, it, it would have to rebuild itself over time. You know, there's just some things to where I kind of question or I'm like, why isn't it like this anymore when? It's not like, you know, I, I was not going to say it's like impossible to do, but I don't know. But anyways, but um, yeah, like I had a great experience at these ice conventions. I, I already did. And I really hope that, you know, I can go back to these on a uh, regular basis and that it can become to what it was before, if not become better, because these are really cool. And and like I said, regardless if you're into it or not, though, you will have an experience over there and it, it, it will be a good time. However, I will say that depends on your choices, <laughs> because we all have choices, you know, and regardless of if, if it's fun or not, you know, choices have consequences and all that stuff, <laughs> but anyways, but yeah, but anyways, I want to thank you for uh, your time for just hearing me out, just hearing me on my experiences and everything, and yeah, if you haven't went, go for it, if you've been going, you know, share your experience too, and how it was with you, and hopefully things have been going well with you and everything, but yeah, but Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. And have a blessed out day. Ah, wow. Have a blessed day out there. Thank you.